This is my Contax KS90 low temperature differential Stirling engine sitting on the base of its supplied display dome on a windowsill with winter sun. I've set it on the wooden base of the supplied glass dome at room temperature because the windowsill was already hot from the hours of prior sunlight. This model is not ideal for sun operation. Indeed Contax has a special sun optimised model because the base of this one is flat against the surface, limiting cooling, as opposed to normal hot bottom operation where the top, which is cooler, is exposed to cool air to take away heat. Stirling engines are not self-starting. You have to flick the flywheel to start it running. And for a given direction of temperature difference, it will only continue running in one direction. If you try spinning it in the wrong direction, it soon comes to a halt. I have seen occasions where it would recover from a reverse spin by self-starting in the correct direction, but this requires a lot of luck regarding the initial spin speed and stopping location. Spun anti-clockwise, viewed from the piston side as shown here, it continues steadily at about 56 rpm. For running solely from the heat of a hand, it needs a few minutes of close contact with a large area of the hand before it will continue running after a clockwise spin of the flywheel. I had it sitting on my hand for a few minutes before starting this clip, but I have poor peripheral circulation, thus cold hands, and the office temperature was almost 24 Celsius, so not ideal conditions for hand running. I have had it running faster on my hand in the winter, but the office was cooler then. The measured temperature difference from bottom to top at that time was perhaps 6 degrees Celsius. And finally, here it is running on the top of my VDSL modem router, whose plastic surface at about 40 Celsius is a little warmer than my hand, so it runs faster. This was shot at about the same time and offers temperature, 24 Celsius, as the hand tests just shown. All in all, a fun toy, very nicely machined, though a pity about the brass already tarnishing in my salt air environment after only five months. And it comes with quite good assembly instructions for the kit version I bought. I tried to measure the top and bottom temperatures with a cheap infrared thermometer, but I don't think the values obtained, about 4 degrees difference, are reliable. Just to show you the mechanism on both sides, I'll turn it around for you. On the right is the black graphite piston and its linkage that drives the flywheel, and on the left the linkage and, in the bottom cylinder, the blue foam displacer, which moves the warm air from the bottom plate to the top, and vice versa. The two are out of sync by about 90 degrees. 